right, uh, let's, I want to bring up Andrew, uh, Andrew Case. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he, uh, I met Andrew several months ago, and uh, we asked Andrew to uh, be our social media, social media manager, uh, blogger, and really grow the show through, through, uh, through Instagram, Twitter, blogging, and um, Andrew had quite the experience um, the other day. Uh, the other day, um, you went to the city council meeting, and for Andrew, that really hit home for him. Um, Andrew lost his dad uh, very young, at a very young age. Um, I can't see. Yeah. He lost his uh, dad at a very young age, and his dad was a volunteer firefighter. So when he went to the city council meeting, and most of the meeting was on the city council, uh, was on the firefighter issue about the four layoffs here in Long, Bo Long Beach, it really hit home for uh, Andrew. Talk about blogging for our show and specifically that experience, um, how, how it meant a lot to you uh, Tuesday night here in Long Beach. Thank you so much, Ari, for having me on the show and talking about this. Uh, Tuesday's meeting was pretty shocking for me, just the amount of anger that uh, the public had over the recent firings of the firefighters, and of course it um, hit a personal chord for me because of my past, but just then, the, when the people of any place are upset, and they're not, justice is not shown, and they're angry, they unite, and they try and do what's right, and they stood up for that on Tuesday, and rightfully so over this. And when I went to the meeting and um, interviewed people and talked about it and then wrote about it, I just got this insane response on social media, on our Facebook page and the blog, and it's just struck a personal chord with um, our audience and I believe the public, and the blog has been gaining a lot of attention and notoriety for this one article, and I just think that people are engaged in it, and when you engage people through different mediums like blogging and social media, I think people tune into what you want to say, they're interested in it, and it just helps your cause in the end. And uh, Andrew had a unique experience. Uh, you probably don't, not too many people go through life and meet someone that was born on February 29th who get to celebrate uh, a birthday once every four years. Uh, so Andrew, what's that like, celebrating a birthday when it's not your birthday? Uh, it's interesting to say the least. Um, uh, technically, I'm six, and I don't, and I turn seven next year, so I'm definitely waiting for that to happen. And um, I've always celebrated my birthday on February 28th because I just seem to like February. Obviously, it's the month in which I was born, um, and I've just always celebrated on the 28th. And I've had so many jokes made at my expense over the years about being mature for my age and so on and so forth. Obviously, I have a good sense of humor about that most of the time, so it's pretty cool. But um, it's always interesting, and it's just, you know, something unique about me. But um, it's been fun having a leave your birthday. All right. Andrew Case, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we're going to have him talk to Joe Gergen, so uh, we want to get uh, Andrew and Joe together so they promote the book. Um, you know, I think this week was one of the most bizarre, unusual weeks that we just had.